Hi, welcome back. And I'm very excited today because it's raining. And uh, see, I moved some of my plants from the plant stand going out in the open because these plants are under the pergola so I would like to let them have a drink on those miracle water Do you know that I've noticed uh, the rain makes the succulent uh, healthy so some of you might be afraid when the rain comes to get your succulent get rotted but basically they are helpful for these plants uh, some of them after this rain will become chubby the leaves will become chubby again revive and see these echeverias they're getting a little bit dried up so they need a good soak of rain so i put them up some i left it under the stand because uh, some of it are not echeverias still summer here in our place and echeverias are, are summer growers so that's why I put them outside because they, they, they need a drink some just stayed on the plant stand because this side can have a drizzle so that's all right in there some of them are looking healthy and I don't want them to expose so much on the water so if you notice on my blog I try not to be uh, like uh, juicy in featuring the plants some of them are really like not good looking and some of it are good looking so that's the real side of doing succulents it's not all the time they look pretty and some of the blogs they just show the beautiful plants me I show I try to show everything so you can see that you are not the only one struggling me I've been doing succulents for a few years now and I'm still struggling to make some of the plants survive so I still kill some plants well, I mean like they just died off even though I tried my best and some I just leave them and they thrive well so let's see so I got here that purple pearl and I think this is an uh, a Gavoidis uh, red edge or the lipstick and that's a Echeveria Violet Queen doesn't look violet but they call it the violet queen so in winter we try to change color and I forgot this is an echeveria and they'll never grow as big as that so they only eat tiny plants the tiny echeverias so it can go a little bit bigger but not bigger than that uh, I'll try to remember the name of that and I think these are blue waves or blue curls or some freelies. So I think this one is a pretty fruity. I love the shape of this uh, Echeveria. And one of the beautiful uh, Echeveria Kante, trying to keep them alive. And I got a tomorrow land in there, Gunsen, I think, and then this is a Pulvinata. So look at the Lila Sina. I've been having difficulty in growing this Echeveria. Some of you, you just plant them and they try. For me, it's really, really hard for these guys to like especially propagate for me. Ugh. Look at it's so thirsty. And 
the powder coating is not good because probably uh, it's when we try to water them we try to shower, put sh really good shower this and leaves marks on that uh, leaf so it's not good not good looking but as long as it survives I'm happy so woohoo rain 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 I love the so I'm not pretty sure if this is a Romeo I think this is a mislabeled uh, probably my wife put it here uh, I really think this is a ebony so we'll see how it goes when this one grows up and this one I think this is a angel's finger I think this is a pachy pythum so I'm not pretty sure but I know this is an angel's finger so still need a little bit water from that one so still get a little bit shrink, uh, wrinkly leaves but all in all they're looking all right and it's not their growing season right now so the rain can help them what else do we got here so yep i got the champagne this is an echeverria champagne so not yet too big but it tries to show its uh, colors and the markings so I'll wait for it for a little bit much more bigger so we can have a uh, we can show this off and I don't want them to put it outside in the rain because they look so plump and healthy already so I don't want to risk that one what else do we got uh, you get the baby necklace in there. I love how they form. It uh, grows wild and free. So, oops. So I got a few in here. I forgot what uh, Echeveria is this. Look how bad the sun is in our place. I live in a place where extreme hot and extreme cold. <clears throat> and once uh, we didn't uh, mind the sun and we forgot it right underneath the heat of the sun, especially after the sun, the leaves might get burned. So see that one? There's the mark of burnt leaves in there but it's all right so we say a new leaf's coming out it's getting good and we'll recover but this one will not recover anymore what we can do is we can do a head chop on this one and we'll wait for its babies to go out so so this is a crested uh, succulent and we get a a double head Monroe. I think this is a Monroe in here. And we get some few arrangements in there. And the rain is getting stronger. And I think it will last for today and tomorrow. So hope to see you around guys. Stick and we'll see what's the update probably tomorrow or the other day. See you. Bye.